All right, today I've got a couple of buckets, one with sand, I've got a party balloon, and a pressure gauge, which measures in millimeters of mercury. See here, I've got it hooked up to the balloon, and it's currently about five millimeters of mercury of pressure inside this balloon. If you put half a PSI on this balloon, it'll pop. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this balloon down at the bottom of the bucket, and I'm gonna cover it with sand and see how much the pressure increases. All right, so let's get on that. See what that did. Looks like the pressure did increase a little. We're up to about 15 millimeters of mercury now. That's equivalent to an increase of an eighth of a psi or so. Well, there you go. Let's see what happens if I stand on the bucket. Oh, it looks like when I pushed down on it and compacted the sand, it increased it by a little. Let's see what happens when I stand on it. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's up there around 70 now. Jump up and down. It's up to 80. Alright, let my weight off. See it went down to... So the sand must pack around the balloon and actually hold in more pressure. See, let's shake the bucket a little bit, see if I can loosen the sand. Yeah. That's interesting. I wonder if that wouldn't happen if I had a bigger bucket. Anyway, that's, that, that's uh, it's about a foot of sand above the balloon. I'm wondering if you could uh, bury a large balloon in the, you know, several you know, many feet of sand and, uh, and do that on the moon and have enough pressure that you could live inside the balloon. Use the weight of the sand instead of the weight of an atmosphere. Because you notice the balloon doesn't float up through the sand like it would through water. Well, let's see what happens when I release the pressure, shall we? <laughs> nice. Yeah, now the balloon's fat, flat. Let's see if I can blow it back up. Yeah, I can't blow it back up. Alright. 